and welcome back to another session of Microsoft Excel macros and VBA. Uh, working on the topic, I would like to give you a few tips for learning VBA. Very important, practice, practice, and practice. This is something that is going to make you learn VBA and the codes. Number two, try to type the examples or practice what we are writing here, what we are going to define here, what we are going to experience here to make sure that you learn it. So typing will help you to learn it. Have a clear definition of your targets in learning VBA. So you should know where you want to go. Don't be put off by errors. So errors are there for learning. So if you get errors, try to sort them, sort them out understand what what the message is and what could be a possible solution for that start by creating simple macros for your work and then gradually you can grow your knowledge by adding different new things into your macros don't be afraid to work through each macro more than once it will help you to learn it will help you to increase your knowledge so practice guys that is going to help you so i will start with my first example that, as I promised, we should start with copy-paste. So I will move on to Excel now. So first of all, we'll go to Developer and start writing the codes. The moment you click here, you reach into a window where you can write your text. So first and foremost, we will give enter a value into a cell how to enter value using VBA code. So we'll write the text here, sub enter values, and you can write whatever. The moment you enter, you will see the end sub is automatically there. And unless you terminate this uh, subroutine, you will not be able to run the macro. Range, we have given a range of cells where we would like to give a value. So let's start by V3 to b5 as an example and also uh, c5 and c8 so we have given the range we'll close the parenthesis dot value is equal to 12. that is it so by doing this excel will give a value to your cells that you have identified here or referred here i'll close it here I go back to the macros and I can see enter values macro is here. I will simply run this. You can see the cells that we referred are already pointed out with the values. So this was one way of writing the values. Now in a case, I would like to enter uh, some text here. I'll have to change text So I'll have to change the way uh, I enter the data. So I'll have to enter it into quotes. By doing this, I will be able to enter a text into the cells, not a number. Let's try this again. Let's see if it works. This is our macro run, and you can see we have text here. That is how you can simply enter some values into your spreadsheets. So that was the very first step of entering the values into your spreadsheet. Now I would like to copy paste these values from certain place to another one. <clears throat> so let's give it a try and change the code here. I will go back, I will remove the code and I will enter sub copy paste range if you remember the range was uh, from b3 let's say to b5 now another feature of uh, this range is copy so we copy it we give a space and destination we are going to give the destination range let's say we ask it to enter this into g3 close it and enter so now what we are asking our excel vba code is to go 
copy this data and paste it to this range. Let's see if it works. I'll close it here. I'll go back to the macros. Copy paste is the name of the macro. Run. There you go. It has pasted on the right destination and the right place. Now we could practice to enter text. We could practice to copy the text as well. Now we will practice how to clear the content of this particular cell. So I go back to my code. I remove uh, the data here. I will take the properties here again, dot clear contents. You can see here, clear contents is uh, the attribute that we are using, clear. I'll name it, close it here, macros and clear. And the destination we give is from B3 to B5. So this text should be removed, let's see. Wow. So we have managed to clear the content as well. So now we could <clears throat> copy, we could paste, uh, we could clear the content as well. The next step I will uh, propose here is to rename the sheet worksheet here. We'll go back to the code. We will try to write here. First of all, I will have to rename the subroutine's name. Active uh, sheet dot name is equal to raw data. This is the sheet name that I want to assign. So you can put anything here. For example, practice. This is just an example. I close here. Now the name here is sheet one. Let's see if our macro can rename it. And rename is appearing here. I will just click run and you can see practice is renamed. We have managed to rename our spreadsheet. Let's try merging now using the merge property of the range of cells via VPA. So I'll go back to the code. I'll remove our code and write a new sub called merge, let's say, to range. I give a range from, let's say, B3 to B5. And don't forget to put quotation marks dot merge you can see here merge select merge close it so now i'll run the macro and it will merge let's put some text there uh, b3 to b5 it should be some text macro and merge to run it's asking me to only keeps the upper left value and discard the other values i have no problem with that okay and you could see that it had merged the cells. So that was an example. Now I would like to unmerge the same cells. I'll go back into the code and simply type un before the merge. Now it will unmerge on the run. And you can see it is back unmerged. So that was uh, yet another example. Now I would like to demonstrate how you can see a run uh, a message box on your screen. For example, um, if I say, for example, save as here, uh, something like uh, browse, and you see it's a, it's a pop-up here. Similarly, we can make a pop-up for a message box. Now let's try to pull in a message box, a message box which demonstrate some feedback to your users and it's an interface between um, your excel and the users so i will go back to visual basic now i will write a subroutine message close it msgbox this is which will prompt your text so your score is 20. This is what my text is. So upon executing this subroutine, you will be able to see a message box which demonstrates your score is 20. Let's try this. Macros, message, run. 
your score is 20. Now I would like to take some numbers from my spreadsheet as a score. Let's say, for example, on D2, I put 345 and I want my Excel message box to demonstrate this number. So I'll go back to the text. Your score is, I will put an and sign, a range, and the range was, if you remember well, D2 dot value and close. There we are. Now we are ready with this code. Let's close it and let's see if it works. Message. Let's see, it should give us this number. There we go. Okay, we forgot forgot to um, remove the 20 from there. So I'll go back into the text and remove the 20 from here. So now it should give us the correct number. Close, macro, message, run, 345. So this is our score. This was a small uh, message box which demonstrated some score here.